Good morning. Good morning. And, and welcome back. I hope that that test where they put that lighted telescope into the windpipe, I hope that wasn't too unpleasant. Well, yes, it was very unpleasant, but yes. I'm so anxious to hear what sure, you have to tell sure. me. Well, let me just show you some of the studies to help put this situation in perspective. Now, this is the chest x-ray that we did when you came here from home. And I know you don't see these all the time, but just let me use this crayon to highlight a couple of things. On the chest x-ray, the white represents some bones. So these are the ribs in the left lung. Yes. Okay, here's the left collarbone, and here's the right collarbone. And this large structure in the middle is the heart. That's important right. that that be there. Now, I recognize you don't see these all the time, but what we were worried about is a shadow in the right lung and also some other shadows towards the outside of that right lung. Now, just by looking at this film, your doctor's back home, and obviously our chest experts here, we're worried about the possibility of some cancer cells, and that's why they recommended that we do some other studies. Now, and what have you found? Well, what we found on the CAT scan, and let me just share that with you, were some abnormalities which made us concerned that we could be dealing with some sort of malignant process such as a cancer which could have arisen from the lung. And again, I recognize you don't see these all the time, but these thickenings here were very suspicious for some cancer cells in lymph glands behind the breastbone. Now, I just spoke with Dr. Halling and Dr. Farrow. These are two of our pathologists. And under the microscope, they found some clusters of cancer cells in the bronchial air tubes. So the situation is such that we, we cannot remove the cancer, but there are options and there are programs that can hopefully enhance quality of life. The cancer has been there for many years. This is not a new problem. There are programs that can hopefully slow down the growth of this thing. And please understand that we are not pressured into making a decision four o'clock on a Friday afternoon. We can talk to your husband, talk to your family doctor, and then help you walk through this situation. Yes, because I'm, I'm terribly upset and I don't want to make any decisions right now and I don't, I don't know what to do. Yeah. How long do I have? Well, in, in any one patient, we don't have specific numbers, but I think among groups of patients with this situation, we anticipate that many will have difficulties in approximately six to 12 months. Now, each patient is very different, and that's why we'll have close follow-up to anticipate problems as they may arise. Uh, I, I just... Uh, is there anything else I can do? Well, I think one of the major things you can do is to maintain an adequate sense of hydration in terms of plenty of fluids, to be physically active within reason, and to work with us in setting up follow-up appointments and other consultations. Uh, although the situation is serious, there are options, there are programs, and we're here to work with you to try to get this thing under control.